We all know a vegan that will let you know that they are vegan. They will not hide the fact that they are vegan. You will probably know in the first three seconds of a conversation that they are vegan. I would assume that you're wearing animal skin shoes. Oh, idiot. What about these, you? these are my vegan leather shoes. Now, not that there is anything wrong if you are vegan or a vegetarian or whatever your diet choice is, but when it comes to vegan activists on TikTok or YouTube, they're just like a whole nother breed of vegans. What a toolbox. They tend to harass people more than protest in my opinion. And so I want to talk to you today about a couple vegan activists that I have seen on TikTok recently and I just think the way they go about it is a little bit just harassing people on the streets for no reason. I don't think any of these people really want to deal with these vegan activists but here we are. This is social media now. Mind if I ask a few questions? In a moment. What are your thoughts on the animal rights activists? That's good on you, mate. Now, one of the most well-known vegan activists is Tash Peterson, aka Vegan Booty. Now, she has been in mainstream media for some time now. She got banned from every WA pub, I think it was a couple years ago, for 12 months, and then she relocated to Melbourne. She also decided to pour blood on a butcher on Christmas Eve back in 2023, yelling, is your Christmas going to be a holocaust filled with bodies of murder? That was a serious time back then and it was just on a whole nother level of torture and I don't think we can really compare animals to the holocaust, in my opinion. And I'm not saying I'm anti-vegan, you do what you want to do at the end of the day. If you want to be vegan, eat grass, eat lettuce, that's on you. If you want to eat nicely, eat this nice burger right here, you eat that. But harassing people on the streets is a whole different ball game. And Tash tends to go to the shock value of everything. And this is where I just don't agree. So this first TikTok I'm going to show you is this lady is literally just trying to buy some milk. She's trying to do her grocery shopping, minding her own business. And Tash decides that this would be a good time to confront this lady. That milk doesn't belong to you. That was from a mother who was raped and her babies were kidnapped from her. Oh, you were. Okay, so you started to abuse animals again. That doesn't belong to you. That's a mother cow's milk who was raped. Yeah, well I would be fuming if someone just came into my trolley and grabbed my shopping. Like, can you not see that this lady is just trying to mind her own business, feed her family, and then you've got Tash here just coming up and just harassing her. And like, you can tell that this lady really just doesn't want a, a bar of it. She, she doesn't want to engage with this sort of conversation. And Tash just keeps on going and going and just harassing this poor lady trying to do the shopping. Like, I would be losing it. These, these animals are trying to live. They're raped. Their babies are kidnapped. So you know the truth and you choose to pay for rape, abuse and murder. What a disgusting human being. You used to be vegan and now you've betrayed the animals and you pay for them to be raped, enslaved, tortured, abused and murdered. Oh, like, so this lady obviously used to be vegan and, like, Tash is just in her ear yelling at the supermarket. Like, if I was this customer and Tash was approaching me, I would just lose it. I'd be like, please just leave me alone. And you can tell this customer is like, leave me alone. I'm walking away. I just want to do my grocery shopping and not have this vegan activist attacking me for just buying some milk. Now, I understand that Tash just wants to protect the animals, but the way she goes about it is just harassing this poor lady in the shops. Like, just leave her alone and let her do the shopping. And Tash stopped carrying on like a lamb chop. Jesus. That was a really bad joke, but I thought I'd just throw that one in there. <laughs> okay, so in this TikTok here, Tash decides to approach these teenage boys. Now, I don't think these boys really care. I don't think that would be my target audience to approach when it came to a topic like this because generally these boys are probably just going to take the piss out of the whole situation. But nonetheless, she decided to approach them, engage in this conversation. I would assume that you're wearing animal skin shoes. Oh, idiot. What about these, you? these are my vegan leather shoes. Vegan leather shoes. Are, are you serious right now? 
There's no such thing as vegan leather shoes. It's just synthetic leather at this point. Like, who's calling it vegan leather? Tasha just wants to put herself on, like, a pedestal of, like, I'm doing better. But the joke's on her because the boy is wearing Nikes as well. They're synthetic. So Nike actually make yeah. vegan shoes. But these are Nike as well, so I don't know what you're no, ve Veganism yeah. isn't a diet. But these are Nike it's an ethical well. view against so animal vegan. abuse. So right, veganism right. means you don't eat animals or animal products, but you don't wear animal products right. or exploit oh, animals yeah. in any way. Yeah. For example, going to zoos are cruel or going to the horse races is cruel. And that's so funny because the boy's like, I'm wearing Nikes too, and points out that his shoes are not made out of leather. And Tash just fully disregards what this kid is saying. And it's about like the culture, the clothes, the food, whatever. But the thing is, Nike does come out with some leather products. So even though her specific shoes are not made of leather, she's still supporting a company that does leather. And most vegans, and I can't say I'm like, you know, the god of vegans, I don't know everything, but most vegans wouldn't support that company as a whole because even though she's not directly getting leather shoes, she's still supporting a company that uses animal products. So I don't know how much of a vegan she really can be. But the fact that she fully disregarded this boy and that he's wearing Nikes just shows that Tash doesn't really care about what he has to say. As long as she can go harping on about veganism and how she wants to protect the animals, that's all that matters. As long as she gets to be like, I'm right, you guys are bad. I'm the good guy, you guys are shit. That's pretty much what she's doing. Now, she was on a podcast. He's an Australian comedian, really funny, and he's done a few videos on her as well. He actually had her on his podcast, which I thought was really entertaining. Is it ethical to get There's naked in front of kids? Nothing inherently wrong with the naked human body. I say, you think it's fine to be naked on the street? Certainly. What if I ran down the street of Sydney nude? Go for it. Quite the visual. That'd be awesome. I mean, She's saying it's acceptable to be nude in front of a child. That's probably not okay to most people because if a 40 year old man was just standing there flopping his john around and <laughs> everyone would be like freaking out everyone would be like oh my god this guy is a pedo i don't know if i should say that <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so sick but like she's saying that's okay to do in front of a child like there's nothing wrong with the human body essentially no there's not anything wrong with the human body. But morally, it's not right to do. It seems like Tash just wants to gr disagree with everything that anyone says and she can just justify it any way she feels. I do not get completely naked in front of anywhere in public. I am topless. How many topless men do we see in public? Yeah, but it's not the same. And suddenly it's an issue when a Nipples woman aren't equal. It. I'll argue this until the cows really? come well, yeah. I kind of agree with him. Nipples aren't equal. Like, if I see a breastfed breastfeeding woman I don't really care that to me I'm like you're feeding your child that is so acceptable but when you see just a topless girl walking down the street I'm like oh I don't know that's just my opinion I have to she, I don't have to agree with her but I do think women's nipples are different to men's double standards yes the next TikTok we're gonna watch is Tash deciding to scream in a restaurant and I would be fuming if I was eating my lunch and I had this bozo just yelling at me. Right now, the largest holocaust in history is happening and you are directly profiting it if you're not vegan. Right now, there are billions of animals being brutally murdered in the meat, dairy and egg industries. And if you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser and you are paying for their death. The blood is on Oh my God, like I, I sh what she's saying is somewhat correct, but at the same time, like saying to these people that you guys are animal abusers, you have blood on your hands, fully making a scene while these people are just trying to have their lunch. 
is just like, oh my God, can't you go outside and do that? Because I thought that was like some sort of law that that's private property and you can't go in there and make a scene because that's like, you know, being a nuisance to society. But I felt like you can do a peaceful protest outside of the restaurant, but she's just going in, disturbing these people's lunch, which they've paid money for, and you've got this girl screaming, animal holocaust, animal abusers. Like, she's just so over the top, and she just goes for like a whole shock value thing, which can work in some instances, but I think when it comes to veganism and everything like that, I think people will make their own mind up if they want to be a vegan or not. If you want to be vegan, eat grass, eat lettuce, that's on you. And I think if you approach it a bit more kindly, maybe be like just people, hey, once a, once a week, maybe just don't eat meat or dairy products or eggs, just one day. And people would probably find that they could achieve that and they feel like they're helping. Instead, she's just attacking all these people calling them abusers, they're part of the Holocaust, all this stuff. And I don't think people really react well to that. Like, that's just not the direction I would go if I was a vegan activist. That's my opinion. Now, we think Tash is bad. There is this other guy who's just as kooky, to be honest. He is just as bad. He's just as as aggressive. <laughs> Did you insist? Are you a farmer? Yeah. You send these pigs to gas chambers. No. How disgusting. Tell your customers about the gas chambers. How disgusting! I love how this lady's like, you're vegan, why are you even eating bacon? Like fake bacon, obviously. She's like, eat a pear or something. But I have never gone into one of my calls and seen a vegan activist. And if I did, I'd be like, dude, let me just do my shopping and leave me alone. Let me just buy my stuff. I know what he's saying is true, like somewhat true. I'm not disagreeing that pigs aren't harmed in it. But like, again, this whole shock value thing to, to make people realize that eating meat or animal abuse is bad isn't the right way to go about it. It's like yelling at a kid and they're in trouble. Kids don't really react really well to that. And so why would an adult? This company should go to jail. Everyone who works for this company should be locked up. Listen to the screams. <coughs> Everyone's too brainwashed to pick up the soy milk, almond milk, $1.50. I'll, I'll buy it for you. So you stop stealing babies. Imagine if you were like a 15 year old kid, first job at Coles or something, and you got this guy saying, you should be locked up. You should be locked up for working for this company. Imagine. Oh my God. Like the, this kid's like, dude, I don't get paid enough to be dealing with this at my job. And like, I'm, I'm sorry, my, my mic has just apparently just died and I was too stupid to realize. So we're just using the camera mic. So I'm sorry if the audio is terrible, but let's just make it work. I am really sorry. You going vegan? Hey, how long have you been a vegan? Uh, three years. Uh, any regrets? No. <laughs> Imagine saying, oh, I regret being vegan. I'll just go back to shooting animals in the head and stabbing them. No, I'm fine. That's crazy violence, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, would you step up and be activist with us? Uh, here? Yeah. Nah. Every Saturday. Would you come and do it with us? I'm leaving in two weeks. <laughs> That's not even a Oh, next Saturday you can do it. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. All right. The animals, well, you know they're not good, right? Do you do activism? No. Do you think we should do activism for animals or be quiet about it? Well, I mean, I think what you're doing is a good job. So, yeah. So even though this girl is vegan, this guy is like, that's still not good enough. You should be an activist. You should just be an activist with us. That's what you need to do in life. I don't understand these people. Stop harassing people on the streets. The way people talk about things and how they try to encourage society on veganism and how they go about it, I think is really important. 
going for a shock value and very dramatized value, it just kind of irritates people and no one really like vibes with it and gets anything out of it. They just get annoyed. And so I think, yes, go be a vegan activist, but going for the shock value, I just don't think that really works, in my opinion. And I think Tash will eventually learn. I think her boyfriend will eventually learn. I think vegan activists will, like we all know they're not always like this. There's just some out there. But going for this sort of approach, I just don't really agree with. And harassing people on the streets is just annoying, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about these TikTokers, YouTubers. Leave a comment. Do you think they're harassing people or just spreading the message? Let me know and remember, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.